Welcome back to Market on Close. I'm Marley Caden here in our Chicago headquarters. Shares of Serve Robotics are on the move higher today, up about 7.5% right now, and have gained 12% in September so far. The move higher comes after the company's integrated voices technology into its autonomy platform offering. Joining me now to discuss what this means for the company and more is Ali Kashani, the CEO and co-founder of Serve Robotics. Ali, thanks for being with us today. You know, first, could you just start by telling us a little bit about Serve. Absolutely. We are a spin-off of Uber. We make autonomous last mile delivery robots that are moving around cities like Los Angeles and Atlanta and Miami right now, delivering you your Uber Eats. And so with that delivery process, you now have a new integration with this Voices integration. Can you tell us a bit about that and how it's changing Serve? Absolutely. We, uh, we were very fortunate. Uh, we had known about Voices for some time. They've made one of the best um, connectivity stacks for robots. Every robot that you see uh, right now has to be connected to the internet. Usually there are people who can help the robot when the robots need assistance. This is called level four autonomy, which means the robot can do a lot by itself, but it occasionally needs help. That connectivity needs to work really reliably. We tried everything under the sun and found Voices to be the best stack out there and we were able to acquire them and bring them into the company, roll it to our robots so that we can scale faster, but also offer this technology to other companies. So Voices is sort of the human element to make sure that the autonomous delivery functions in the way that it needs to. Yeah, there, I mean, the robots need connectivity for many reasons. Human uh, support is one of them, but we are also collecting data to make sure the robots are operating smoothly. There's, there's a lot of reasons why the robots have to always be connected. And this isn't your only integration and recent acquisition. You also um, acquired Vayu Robotics. You know, tell us a little bit about that acquisition and why that was important for Serve. Yeah, so the other acquisition, Vayu, was all about AI. So we are, uh, you know, robots are embodiment of AI. We are, we have always been at the forefront of AI, taking this bull by the horn. Uh, but we also don't want to just uh, take what we are doing. We want to always look outside for what's the best work that's being done outside and also bring them on board. This was the case with Vayu. They have been working on really great technology with end-to-end uh, -end autonomy and foundation-based AI uh, and using simulation to train models so that they can deploy them into real world. One of the few teams that have actually accomplished that. So it was very complementary with our own AI efforts. So we were able to also bring them and uh, add them to our team. So with Vayu, you said that they use simulation for their models, but I imagine you have a great deal of, of actual real-life training that you can combine. Are, are you going to combine the two? Absolutely, they're so complementary. We've been very real world focused because we've had hundreds, soon thousands of robots that are out there collecting data with the sim and real data together. That's the best combination. You're gonna have the most leverage out of your real world data. And so as you leverage this now combination of both training simulated and real world data, you know, what's the long-term impact for Serve? It's, it's all about can we scale quickly and bring this technology to market. Right now, we've gone from 100 robots in one city at the beginning of this year to many hundreds. I think the last we reported was uh, more than 400 in five cities today. By the end of this year, we are going to be 2,000 robots in six cities. So it's expanding really quickly. All of this technology, like this is a technology play. It's all about how well your AI works, how well everything integrates together. So uh, by, by bringing this new uh, you know, technologies on board, we make it better and faster and, and uh, you know, reduce risk of uh, our deployment speed. And I've seen the serve robots uh, in the wild in L.A., uh, but how, what is the advantage of using a robotic delivery service versus just a delivery driver? You know, I'd like to say it doesn't make any sense to move two pound burritos in two ton cars. Um, the real reason is that it's incredibly inefficient. It's unsafe. You know, having two ton vehicles out there, it actually is a uh, risk to safety. It causes congestion. Our robots have 3,000 times less kinetic energy, so they're safer to operate, but also they reduce the cost. We can eventually take that $10 cost of last mile delivery today to about a dollar, which is, you know, an order of magnitude impact on local businesses, on customers that want to use this service. I think it's uh, it's long overdue for us to improve the efficiency of last mile. The same way we did it for long distance shipping. But in last mile, we haven't seen the same kind of progress. So there's a lot of pent up demand for it.
And so you're growing, you know, at a pretty rapid rate, you know, tripling, quadrupling your fleet just in this year. Your cities are up to six. You know, what's your outlook in the next year or five years? You know, where do you hope for Serve to be and how quickly can you grow? I think there is infinite appetite for uh, last mile robots alone. And there's a lot more applications because the technology that we are using helps robots move among people. That's a really like there are companies that are making cars for the street. There are companies for in, in warehouses, you know, robots in warehouses. We are for basically all the other spaces that are not controlled. They're complex humans and pets and all the randomness that's happening like a sidewalk. So that technology has a long range. I hope that we're going to be in millions of robots in a few years uh, because there's just the amount of need and appetite for this technology is really staggering. Well, Ali, we appreciate you taking the time to talk serve with us and tell us a little bit about the autonomous delivery space. That's Dr. Ali Kashani, the CEO and co-founder of Serve Robotics.